you will learn how to make a site that looks just like this. Um, it won't say my name. Um, and then uh, basically I'll teach you guys how to make these posts, um, to have a tutorial page that shows all the tutorials that you have, have a blog page that shows all the posts that you have, and have an about page. So this is the finished product of basically my tutorial series, and then have uh, basically links you know that you can customize to go to your YouTube account, whatever. Um, so I'll show you all how to do that in my tutorial series. So um, yeah, if you guys want to be able to build a site like this, um, some of the advantages are you have a custom URL with your name in it, so it wouldn't be just like a tumblr.com, blah, blah, blah. Um, also, you can um, easily customize all these colors, fonts, all these links on your website. So those are, this is the advantages of that. So, Hey, guys. So just before we get into the coding, I just wanted to give you guys an overview of exactly what we're doing in this video. So first, we're setting up two repositories on GitHub to keep all the source code for our website. And we're going to create our personal website that will be reflected through GitHub pages. And we'll be able to do this quickly through Hugo which is a site generator that you will install on your computer and you can give it commands to, um, to check out your site um, before you publish it online which is really great by using a Hugo server and also you can just um, make really quick changes in your blogs in the future so it's a great site generator and um, let's get right into it hey guys. so first things first you gotta make a profile on github I'm not gonna go through that um, but once you do, um, go to your profile, we'll do, we'll do create new repository. Um, I just did this. So basically hit new here. Repository name should be username.github.io, right? Um, where you, your username should just be, for example, mine will just be Hori Brutsu. Um, and then we're going to initialize with a meet, read meet, create repository. I already did this, so I'm not going to go through it. And then we create, so this is going to be where our... Um, generated site is and then this will be this we'll call it blog um, we do the same thing create a new repository and then with the readme same exact thing that I just did previously and then let's create it and call it blog for now and then now the next thing we needed to do is go to hugo.com and then we should be able to go to uh, tutorials here on it's the Hugo site and then installing on a Mac or installing on a Windows go through those steps I'm not gonna go through and go ahead for that once you're done um, you should be able to use Hugo version uh, Hugo version. Um, so you should be able to see something like this right if you have it installed and then um, so once you do that um, now it's time to create our blog so First things first, let's get the ter uh, terminal out. So for our work directory here, as you can see, um, then we're gonna do uh, make directory blog for. Go into that directory by CD, Hugo, new site. This creates all the folders. If you hit LS, you'll see all the folders down there, archetypes, content, layout, themes, config. Um, so we do get in it. Um, then we do git remote add origin. So we're going to add origin for our blog 4. So we just do a clone download and then we copy that HTTP uh, URL and then we go into terminal, add this, right? Big thing here that I always mess up on is git pull first. So you have to do git pull origin master. If not, this will screw up everything you do after this. So then we do that. And then the next thing we need to do is go into our text editor of Vim. This should come with every Mac. If not, try to get another text editor. If you're on Windows, we do Vim git ignore. So we create this file called git ignore. And inside this file, first we use Vim. I'm just going to teach you the basic functions. You press I, insert. And then here we start typing in. And then we're going to type slash, or sorry, public slash. And then we press escape because we're done typing. And then colon WQ, you should see at the bottom left corner WQ um, here. So now we press enter, it's saved, boom, we're good. And then we do git add dot, we do git status to see if, yep, we got new files in there, which is good. If you see green, that's good. Commit dash M, initial commit, good. There we go. And then we do git push origin master. And then boom, we got our site up there. Now we can go back here, refresh the page. 
all the files should be in there perfect, right? We don't see all the other folders yet because we haven't done much, which is fine. Okay, so um, for the purpose of this video, um, we basically have gotten to a point where we get to choose our theme, which is um, how our site's gonna look. So for my theme, you can check my site out, um, but or basically for the sake of this video, we're just gonna use the theme that I use for my website. Now, you can go to hugo.com and pick anything you want. This, the process is the same. Basically, you do a git clone of that themes repository and you put that git clone in your themes. So we'll go ahead and do that in the command line soon, but I'm just letting you know, um, at this point in the video, you can use a different theme and your website look completely different than mine, customize it however you want, blah, blah, blah. But for now, we're just gonna stick with my theme. and. Let's go ahead and do that. <clears throat> okay, so this is the fun part. We gotta do themes now, right? So I'm gonna do this uh, Hugo Geo theme. Here it is. Uh, this is what this guy's site looks like, right? This is what our site will sort of resemble. So let's click that clone or download button, copy that, and then we'll go into the terminal and then go into our themes directory, go to CD themes. And then in here, do a git clone and then drop in that URL. We're going to theme that. And then now the big important part is this config.toml file. So we do vim config config.toml. Um, and then in here, we want to paste in um, his config file. So we're going to go to his example site, um, find his config file, and then we're going to copy all of this. And boom, we will go into here here and paste it and um, let's try this now but um, one little change in the config file um, so basically we're going to do dd delete that and now let's try it and then let's do a hugo server now this is the cool part of this um, you do hugo server dash w um, you'll see lo go go here right so copy and paste that um, and then go to a new tab, boom, localhost, and you should see this site, empty template. This is what your site looks like now. Um, so the thing is, right now, we have no pictures. So um, let's do, um, go into that config again, vim config. Let's add that picture in there. So um, basically we see here that um, we're gonna have to put an image directory, so, and then, Let's um, yeah, that's basically it. Um, so we go back, um, go into static, and then make directory image. Uh, we already have I already have this directory right. Um, so I go into image, and then I see that I made this prof pic here. Um, so uh, let's get a basically what you're gonna have to do is get a picture that looks like you, resembles you. Call it prof pic dot jpeg, jpeg and then go back into the config and now we literally have to configure this picture right so boom um, I see that here the, the file name is spelled a little differently so we're gonna have to change that so pro pick dot this is what mine was oopsie this is what mine was like so save quit and now automatically when I run the server again to the server dash w uh, it will it, it should show that picture up there and there it is cool so we've got basically our blog now going so now what we need to do um, is do something called uh, let me just make a new post right so Hugo new post and then we'll call it hello.md that's just the naming convention Okay, so base URL we can do later. Um, so now, Hugo new post, right? We go into content post, and then we do vim hello md, and then here draft. Let's make the draft false. We want to publish it, and then here we'll say this is my first post. And then here is first. Boom. So we have that. And now let's do Hugo server again. And we should see. Uh oh. 
Mm-mm, my bad, my bad. Go back to terminal. Uh, cd dot dot again. Now, if we run the server again, we should see this post. Click on that post, and boom, here we have our post. Cool. Um, so that's basically it for the blog. Now we just gotta publish, okay? Alright, okay, so we're back. So basically all we have to do is deploy our site. So if you're happy with what it looks like in localhost, um, as we just said, you're ready to deploy. Um, so basically before we deploy anything, we have to go back and we have to get clone and we have to get clone um, the repository we just made. This really quick, uh-oh, clone, copy that, get clone, and then boom, right? And then you will see something like username. So we do CD username. And then in here, do an LS. We got this, get full origin master. Um, so we're good. And then now, back to our blog four. We do, now that we're ready, we do hugo-d and then we do dot dot slash username, okay? So that's gonna create all the stuff um, that our page needs. And then once that is all ready, go back and to username and then here we do get status, um, perfect, get add all, get commit initial commit and then get push origin master. And now we are pretty much done. We should be able to see our page here momentarily. And boom, here we go. This is our site. And so you can always go to your site by checking out that URL. Um, yours should not be, it should, your URL basically should just be this, right? Um, so one thing we need to do right now is fix the base URL. Fig then config tomo. Um, this should say base URL. And then we're basically going to go to our publish site, copy and paste that URL right into here. Boom. And that should be good to go.